India and Japan have agreed to conduct joint military drills involving their air forces. India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh also invited Japanese industries to invest in India's defence sector. These developments came as part of a 2 plus 2 meeting between the two nations. Japanese officials said that aside from military drills and defence investments, Japan and India are also discussing joint development of unmanned ground vehicle technology. India's Defence Minister Rajna Singh and Foreign Minister S. J. Shankar met with their Japanese counterparts in Tokyo today. India and Japan are pursuing what India's External Affairs Ministry calls a special strategic and global partnership. They come amid the 70th year of diplomatic relations between the two nations. We are happy to note that our air force our air forces were working closely for early conduct of the inaugural air force fighter exercise enhancing the defense equipment and technological cooperation between india and japan is one of our key key priority areas in our meeting today i had the opportunity to propose engagements in emerging and critical technological domains after an initial meeting of just the defense ministers, the foreign ministers of both countries joined them for another round of talks. Speaking alongside other dignitaries, Indian foreign minister emphasized on the need to realize the benefits of common interests and outlook of India and Japan. Strengthening our foreign policy coordination is essential to realize the full benefits of the substantial convergence in our interests and outlook. They obviously concentrate on the Indo-Pacific, but extend to many other regions, uh, other, many other regional, global, and multilateral platforms as well. The exchange of views on the crucial situations facing the international community today was particularly useful. The agreements on joint drills and defense sector investments came as a result of the talks. The focus of the 2 plus 2 dialogue is on ways to further expand bilateral cooperation in the areas of defense and security. Besides taking stock of the developments in the Indo-Pacific, the 2 plus 2 dialogue with Japan was initiated in 2019. India has been ramping up strategic ties with its key partners in the backdrop of the geopolitical turmoil largely triggered by the Ukraine crisis, China's aggressive posturing in the Indo-Pacific, and escalating tensions between Beijing and Taipei in the Taiwan Strait. Singh will meet Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida later during the visit. He will also attend a community event organized by the Embassy of India in Tokyo and interact with the Indian diaspora in Japan. Our principal diplomatic correspondent Sidhan Sibal has more details from New Delhi. India and Japan today held their second foreign and defense ministerial 2 plus 2 dialogue. Focus was on China, Russia, rules-based Indo-Pacific defense cooperation and how uh, there is now the cost impact the rising prices of commodities globally now we know about china both countries are on the same page in fact the japanese defense minister pointed out to, to the fact that the chinese ballistic missile landed in their exclusive economic zone during the taiwan strait crisis it's a worrisome uh, development for india as well china has been aggressive with india the galwan uh, incident where an aggressive China uh, at the line of actual control, the uh, the PLA led to the death of 20 Indian soldiers. Uh, China also suffered casualties, but it has only confirmed four casualties, a number that is doubted given China's track record on transparency. But uh, there was, of course, uh, a specific emphasis on the Russian invasion of Ukraine by the Japanese side. The Japanese side. Uh, uh, talked about how it is impacting rules-based uh, global order 
the Indian side, of course, uh, uh, did not mention about Russia, but o talked about the conflict impacting the commodity prices. Uh, but largely, uh, it is the free and open Indo-Pacific uh, that found mention in the joint statement uh, and, of course, uh, other statements as well. This is something that both sides are working on, uh, making sure that rules-based order is upheld in the Indo-Pacific. Uh, both countries are close partner of each other. We know that the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be visiting Japan later this month uh, or 27th. He will be taking part in the state funeral of the former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Uh, so uh, it is, of course, uh, a month that will see high-level engagement between the two sides, but uh, uh, also a reaffirmation affirmation of uh, the Connect Tokyo and New Delhi share with its development partnership or whether it is now the defense uh, partnership. One of the key outcomes uh, of the defense uh, relationship, the defense bilateral between the two defense ministers has been uh, the fact that both sides are now working on inaugural air force exercises between the Japanese and the Indian Air Force. Uh, this will be a fighter jet exercise that will take place and comes at a time when uh, the region and the world, of course, is uh, uh, seeing or looking at a lot of uh, changes. Sudhan Sibal for Vion in New Delhi. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.